Saturday, January 24th, 2015, we went to the College of Central Florida in Ocala, Florida to see the Life South Community Blood Center Five Points of Life Kids Marathon. Oh yeah, it was really windy that day and rainy, but the rain dissipated and it was a success. And the kids all committed to run 1.2 miles. That's pretty far, you know, at least in one shot. I could do it maybe a foot at a time. <laughs> That certainly is, but they've been working all year long to build up to 5K. Yeah, we spoke to a few of the people. Here's one of them. Good morning. We're here at the Five Points of Life. It's a cold morning. The rain has dissipated, and uh, you really look beautiful this oh, morning. Oh, thank you so much. I feel a little winded, but it is, it's is—it's going to be a perfect day. We, we won't let the rain stop us. And you're in charge of the volunteer check-in? Yes, ma'am. I'm in charge this year. Uh, this will be my fifth year in a row doing the volunteer check-in at the marathon. Oh, oh, that's absolutely wonderful. What's your day job is? Um, I am the assistant branch manager at Life South Community Blood Center. And you're a, a keen phlebotomist, too. I am. I am. I've been doing uh, phlebotomy for 14 years and been at Life South for 14 years. So, yeah. Got a little experience under my belt. Well, you always make everybody feel welcome whenever oh, we go. Away. Thank you so much. I, it's my pleasure. The thanks for doing this for the kids is really special. Oh, thank you very much. You know, Jen has been my phlebotomist, and I'm pretty sure she's been your phlebotomist. Oh, yeah. She's such a wonderful lady. We've donated blood a lot at Life South. You actually started donating blood when you were 17 years old. That's pretty impressive. Hmm, but you caught up. Good morning, Galen. I work here with Galen. You know, he's the coordinator for the Five Points of Life Kids Marathon from Life South Community Blood Center. He always does a bang-up job every year. Well, the wind's doing a bang-up job this morning, but uh, it's just, it's a great day. We're expecting over 400 kids, rain or shine, and uh, I can't wait. This is the best part. Setup's pretty much done. Volunteers are showing up. Kids are starting to show up. It's the calm before the storm, and uh, it's, I'm really, I'm just really excited. I love it. Favorite day of the year. And you've been here since before the sun was up, too. Huh? <laughs> yeah, I got it. You know, most of us get here about 6, 6.15. Um, there's a lot of us behind the scenes work and just coordinating everything, but again, you know, you don't sleep much the night before just thinking of all the details, but I'm excited. I, I love it. And then I'll take a long nap today. <laughs> and uh, this is something that you do all year long because you're not only here in Ocala, you're in Gainesville, and in fact you're in the full southeastern part of the United States. Yeah, this, we're going to do 15 marathons, kids marathons this year, and just really, it's an amazing program. We started it just in Gainesville because somebody had an idea. They were like, yeah, that sounds good because we have a full marathon in Gainesville. And now our kids' marathon is bigger than our full marathon. So it's just an amazing thing. This year we expect over 10,000 kids to participate in our in our marathons. And next year we're hoping for 20,000 and we're just going to grow from there. And the Life South Community Blood Center buses here for Life South blood donations. Yeah, you know, that's what it's, this is all about. You know, we're not just having a run to run. We're having a run with a meaning, and we want these these kids to become the next donation generation. So when we're old, um, you know, we'll have blood donors, and we'll have marrow donors, and we'll have organ and tissue donors. And, and what we're doing with our educational program is we're really taking the unknown or the fear out of blood donation and all kinds of donation. Because, you know, when I grew up, there was no program. You know, people donated because of World War II. And that whole generation learned the importance of blood donation through that. What we're doing is we're saying, you know what? You need to donate every, you know, we need blood donors every day. Not just for the war, but for the trauma victims, for the people who are just having a routine surgery who may need blood. And that's the difference. It's, it's more of a, a, a continuity and a, a community effort that's going to make this work. And we're, we love it. Absolutely love it. Well, you and Life South Community Blood Centers are certainly an inspiration for everyone, Galen. So thanks for everything yeah. you do. Well, I appreciate that. But it's not one of us. It's not a hundred of us. It's a hundred thousand of us. You know, we get over 300,000 blood donations a year. That's not any one person. That's a whole community. That's a whole country. And no one person is responsible. So uh, thank you for being a blood donor. <laughs> Galen Unold is an important part of Team Life South and an important part of Team WOCA, and this is his son, Caleb. Well, good morning. We see you have been doing your part this morning, volunteering, directing traffic, and now you are becoming... Bo the Bloodhound. 
<laughs> That's the mascot for Life South Community Blood Center. Yes. <laughs> and do you have a good time doing this? I do. It's really fun seeing uh, the little ones going, oh my goodness, he's so cool. <laughs> so I enjoy that. Well, you're really doing a great job today. Thank you. You're welcome. I think Caleb was having a good time being Bo the Bloodhound. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he even helped out with the exercises later on in, in the program. Hi, good morning. Thank you so much for being at the Life South Community Blood Center's Five Points of Life Kids Marathon. What is your name? Brennan Valdez. Oh my gosh, have you run in marathons before? No. Oh, are you excited about this? Yes. And what uh, What do you hope to finish in? Not sure. Oh no. <laughs> You're probably in first place. Do you have any friends that are running with you today? Oh, not that I know of. I really know of a few people in my class that are probably running today. And is this your dad? Yeah. And what is your name? Abner. Abner. And how proud were you when you heard that your son was going to run in the marathon? Oh, very proud of him. Very um, excited. This is our first year doing it. Um, he's done other uh, 5Ks before, but this is our first marathon one that we're going to do. Oh, that's pretty exciting. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Thank you. There is really nothing that impresses me more than parents and children who love each other. I am just so touched when I see that, Robin. Oh, yeah. It is just so, so wonderful. Wonderfully warm with love. And you could tell that these parents are all proud of these children, and their children loved the fact that their parents were proud of them. <laughs> they are their main support. Good morning. Thank you so much for being at the Five Points of Life Marathon for Life Up Community Blood Centers. And what is your name? Uh, Frances Brooks. And you brought some children with you today? Yes, yes. I have my niece, Sydney Miller, and my daughter, Mary Frances Brooks. And they're both running today? They are. They are getting ready, all excited in the rain. <laughs> and who is this young man? And this is Miller. He's my four-year-old. We're, we're not going to be running, but we're going to be supporting and cheering them on from the side. Oh my gosh, it's really exciting that uh, the children are doing this and that yes. you're their support. Yes, it's very exciting. We've been training, we've been doing, marking off our miles that we've been working over the last few months. And so, race day is here. We're ready to do it. First race for the girls. Good morning. Thanks. Good morning. How are you? Oh, just great. How are you doing today? I'm trying to stay dry like everybody else. Oh, are you one of the uh, uh, supporters of one of the runners today? No, I sit on the advisory board for Life South. Oh, oh so yeah. you're on Life South Community Bus Center advisory board? Right, yeah. And then they got me down here uh, to give out medals as part of the city council. Oh, and that's pretty exciting too. Nothing is better than a child's face when they receive a medal. Oh, absolutely, yeah. We got lots of them to give out, that's for sure. So there'll be a lot of happy faces after the races. Good morning. You're here today at the Life South Community Blood Center's 5K Kids Marathon. Yes, absolutely. It's a, it's a terrific event and we're excited about it. And what is your role? Uh, my name is Mark Camp and I'm here as a, uh, we, we sponsored the event. We're one of the sponsors, uh, Marion County Continuity of Care Council. I'm the president of that organization. So I'm a volunteer. I'm here to help uh, with uh, handing out medals and directing traffic and whatever else needs to be done. Oh, that's it's really wonderful to, for you to give up your time because this is an, an all-year event to be planned. It is. It's, uh, it takes a lot of planning and, and a lot of work on behalf of the number of people. Uh, we're, we're just glad to contribute. Good morning, Tom. Good morning, Robin. How are you doing? Oh, just great. This is such an exciting, exciting event that you guys have put together. It is every year, and I don't know. Every year, we, I don't know. It just keeps getting bigger, and you know. But I have to hand it to our sponsors and volunteers. My gosh, we couldn't do this without them. And uh, I threw out the volunteer net this this year, and I I scored big with a lot of volunteers. And it's it's, you know, it's a good thing. Well, that's pretty awesome because Life South Community Blood Centers is always at the forefront of our community all year long. Well, we try to, and you know, uh, we try to get the donors in because right now we're really in a bad need for 
O negative and O positive. So if you can come down to the center at 1607 East Silver Spring Boulevard, come on down and donate. But right now, this morning, uh, we're out at the, uh, the College of Central Florida with the bus. It's a lot of fun. Oh, that's pretty awesome. You've got so many volunteers, so many participants are here, and they're all anxious to start. Oh, and then we're looking forward to it. And uh oh, I think the kids are starting to line up. You know, uh, we have Pam Silvestri, the PE teacher from Ward Island, is going to do stretching exercises uh, for the kids and get them ready to run. Oh wow, that's pretty awesome. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. Thanks so much. Thank you, Robin. Come on over here. You got a number on? Come on over. Let's get ready. To you know, the one thing that is said every day on the uh, radio show that we do is that there is no blood supply without blood donors. It's as simple as that. And the uh, the thing that I love that Galen uh, said earlier is that this event really introduces young people, children, to the idea of donating blood, and that makes it not so scary. You most certainly are correct. Uh, we can tell by the turnout at the high schools when the blood mobile goes to the individual high schools here in our area. And that's the medal that they were being given at the end of the race, and that's Tristan, uh, one of Galen's sons, who was modeling the medal. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and the race began eventually. The kids lined up, and everybody was very excited. Of course, first was the national anthem and the, the salute to the American flag. You'll see that in just a minute. It was a wonderful event, a very uh, nice weather. It turned out to be kind of cool, but it actually served its purpose because all the kids would have been really sweltering hot if it had been a hot morning. Oh, yeah, and they were so anxious. They were so excited to get on with the race and to see how they would place, and it was just amazing, all of the camaraderie that each of the children running had for each other. They were always encouraging each other. And here we are. We're ready to uh, begin the race. We, of course, didn't film the entire race. Uh, just got uh, some of the kids leaving at the beginning, and then, of course, a couple of them coming in at the end. These are the older of the kids. Uh, I guess that's seventh grade and up, is that right? Yes, yes. Yeah. They had them uh, uh, split up and they each had their own individual unit that they ran in. I don't know exactly how the pace runner thing worked, but the, the guys in the green shirts were the pace runners. <laughs> <laughs> they all did such a fabulous, fabulous job. Oh, look at that. Isn't that exciting? That, that is something a movie maker would love, or a, a guy who makes a commercial. Like just all the kids running for Bosco or something. Oh, yes. Does he still make Bosco? <laughs> so anyway, we had a great time. It's always fun to be part of such a wonderful event that serves such a great purpose. Galen mentioned 300,000 people donate blood. That's outstanding. And 10,000 kids participating in these races. Here is the first one coming in in today's race. What a wonderful day it was. And... You could tell that 1.2 miles was something he was proud to finish. Look at that. He gets his medal right off the bat. Oh, yeah. I didn't even see somebody hand it to him. I have to kind of rewind the tape and see that. <laughs> They're quick. Yeah. Hi, congratulations. You're the first person to come through the Lifestyle Community Blood Center's Five Points of Life Marathon. How do you feel? Great. I just ran a long marathon. I'm kind of out of breath. <laughs> and can I have your name, please? Donovan Hamby. Donovan Hamby. Oh, okay. Excellent. Excellent. And how old are you? 14. Oh, my gosh. Well, congratulations. Thank Good you. job. <laughs> So we had a really great day. It was a wonderful thing to be a part of. And uh, to all the folks at Lifestyle, thank you for allowing us to be a part of your world. Thank you so much.